Hello everyone. This is the Fundamentals of Calorimetry Lab Activity 1, Heat Capacity of Calorimetry. So the materials you're going to need are three foam cups. Calcium chloride, calcium or ammonium chloride, excuse me, thermometer, two way boats, graduated cylinder, 50 milliliters, two plastic spoons, electric balance, and a 250 milliliter beef pair. Read through the procedures, collect all the materials, set it, select a clean work area, construct a calorimeter by placing one foam cup inside another, and placing these two cups inside the 250 milliliter beaker. Placing the two cups inside the beaker prevents the calorimeter from tipping over. You also need purified water, hot water, I also have cold water right here. Measure 50 milliliters of the water of water into a graduated cylinder and pour into the inner foam cup of the calorimeter. This will be the cold water. Place the foam cup with the cold water inside the beaker. Stir water with the thermometer until the temperature is constant and record this temperature and the cold water temperature on table one. Fill a third foam cup, three-fourths full, with the hottest top, tap water possible. And try to be careful. This is hot. Take the temperature of the hot water. If the temperature is less than 80 degrees, heat in a microwave with short bursts until it reaches 80 degrees. Measure 50 milliliters of the hot water with a graduated cylinder. Place a thermometer in the cylinder and gently start to get a constant rain. The temperature should be 75 to 80 degrees Celsius. Record this as the temperature of hot water in data table one. Next, we're going to quickly pour the 50 milliliters of hot water into the cold water and start a timer. Okay. Gently stir the mixed water with a the thermometer and record the temperature at one minute then at one minute intervals for 10 minutes of data table one. So every minute you're gonna record the temperature. Then discard the water, dry the cup with a paper towel and place it back in the calorimeter. And repeat this activity to collect a second set of data for trial one and trial two. Now 
Now for activity two, enthalpy of solution for calcium chloride. Measure 100 milliliters of pure water with a graduated cylinder and pour it into the calorimeter. Stir the water with the thermometer until the temp temperature is constant and re record it as the initial temperature in data table 2. While I'm waiting for that, weigh approximately 5 grams of calcium chloride. Record the exact mass in data table 2, add calcium chloride to the calorimeter, and stir the solution with the thermometer. Keep stirring until the temperature stops changing. Record this as the final temperature in data table 2. Discard the solution and rinse the cup. Dry the cup and place back in the calorimeter. Repeat steps 1 through 6 with 10 grams and 15 grams of CaCl2. So you'll have a total of three trials for calcium chloride. Activity 3, enthalpy of solution for ammonium chloride. Measure 100 milliliters of pure water into the graduated cylinder and pour in the calorimeter. Stir water with thermometer until the temperature is constant and record it as the initial temperature in data table 2. Weigh approximately 5 grams of ammonium chloride. Record the exact mass in data table 2. Add the ammonium chloride to the calorimeter and stir the solution with the thermometer. Keep stirring until the temperature stops changing. Record this as final temperature in data table 2.
Describe the solution, rinse the inner cup, dry the cup, and place back in the Kalorama. Repeat steps one through six with 10 grams and 15 grams of ammonium chloride. So you'll have a total of three trials for ammonium chloride.